And we are live. Welcome back to PSI Let's Play. This is episode 15, and returning again to the series, well, for the first time returning, is uh, Elliot Ridgeway. Hey, glad to be back. And I'm glad to have you back, because we are in Saturn Valley, and we are yes. moments from meeting the Bo... Bo... Um, Bo... Uh, people known as Mr. Saturns, <laughs> who have been made yeah. popularized, who have been made popular by Smash Brothers, among other sources other than this game. Because honestly, without this game, I would have not even known, without Smash Brothers, honestly, I would not have known what this is. So, let's talk to some of these people. We feel groove. Hi-ho, me, Mr. Saturn. This place, all right, Mr. Saturn. <laughs> yep. And, yeah, uh, I never get tired of that font. I know, it's just so damn unique. Up, oh, this must be the hotel. I gotta find the place where I uh, I get healed. I think the healer is in this next house. And this music. Yeah. This is perfect. <laughs> Music's this classic, too. I am Dr. Saturn. Zoom, I can repair your body. Boing. Do you want me to oh, operate on you? Ding. You are all fixed up. Boing. Hey, no more ghost. Ghost. No more ghost. So I guess he... Oh, he cured us, so we need to uh, sleep in here. And this would be an excellent point to save. Wow. <laughs> so now that we're actually in this part... Um, what was your favorite part about doing Zoom Boing? Oh, our, our third episode? Yes. Which I quite um, enjoyed. Finally, Anton fixed the broken air gun and the air gun became the Magnum air gun. Which means Anton now has a new gun. <laughs> Could be dangerous. I know, right? Um, I always thought the, that uh, it was an airsoft gun, just by simple, the, uh, print, the, uh, yeah. Yeah, so we used a, a Nerf gun for our series just because that happened to be what was lying around at the time. <laughs> I know, it looks, like a, it looks like one of those little pop guns. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's got a, a foam ball inside that pops out if you push it. Yeah. I noticed that, you used, I noticed that you used the, uh, the Counter-Strike silenced M4A1 sound for the firing sound for it. Uh, Unless I'm mistaken. That's... That's or very it... possible that it, that was it was used there. What we actually uh, pulled it from um, the uh, there's this Indiana Jones uh, computer game that came out like around 10, 15 years ago. Uh. Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. <laughs> and uh, one of the things I love about old computer games is that they leave all of their sound effects like just loose and like just a directory. So once you install the game, you basically have access to hundreds of sound effects of uh. guns and and punches and like furniture breaking and <laughs> you know i keep going back to indiana jones and the emperor's tomb to steal sound effects like even to this day so nice. that was uh, one of the weapons that you get in that game ah we all so. we, we look like same i give you a special thing not now zoom i give you on the way back back boing bye later <laughs> i love the way they talk uh scary scary guy boing grapefruit falls scary sick barf Barfy, go and was he saying la la la? Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Ding, scary. Simple, uh, probably n well known or maybe not well known fact. This font was um, inspired by Shigesato Itoi's daughter's scribblings. Yeah, beach secret. Yeah. Beach behind Grapefruit Falls. Password I tell. Delay man say. Oh, say password. Then stand still. Wait three minutes. And this is waiting three real-time minutes, so I guess yes. we could talk about something while we're doing that. You, <laughs> so boing, you have eighty, three hundred eighty dollars. We trade secret herb. So boing, you have seven hundred eighty. We trade for horn of life. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. So in other words, they trade for secret herb and then horn of life. But I don't need either of that right now. And this is a random exit. <laughs> like, uh, sheesh, random thing. <laughs> mm. I forgot where the sales the sales uh, Saturn is. The store Saturn. Saturn store. It's probably right here. Oh, here it is. Hi, Sweet. come here. 
Hi, hi, hi. You come buying? You come, you can sell too. I'm Mr. Saturn, boing. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Can do all for you. What can I do for, what, what do you want? Zoom? <laughs> what you buying? Zoom? <laughs> Just so funny. A slingshot. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, so great charm, silver bracelet, and revved ribbon for Paula. Okay. I need to sell. Okay, so... I love that ATM machine. I know, it's just like... Weird. <laughs> so... Travel charm could sell. Uh, where that? There it is. Ding ding! <laughs> I just love them. Uh, I like how uh, when you guys did the uh, Mr. Saturn dialect, it sounded a little bit like Dungeon Man and, uh, uh, let's see, yeah, it sounded a little bit like a cross between Dungeon Man and, uh, and an end of the Tenda, kind of. Oh, yeah. I think that's more just a symptom of we have a very small uh, range of, like, different voices we can all do. Yeah. Um, the Mr. Saturn in our series were actually inspired by the King of Town from uh, Homestar Runner, if anybody remembers Homestar Runner. Um, and I think I'll put a link to that in the in the, uh, in the description. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't remember why we decided on that. Um, because I think, you can. Right. I think Anton and I were just trying out different voices and we just settled on the... Let's just make it sound like King of Town. <laughs> So I need great charm. I forgot what the great charm did, but I think it's just better. Yes. I don't. I don't know why, but I don't buy any other any, any other weapons for the characters other than their best weapons for them at the time. Like for example, won't go well, anything yeah. else from again other than baseball bats for uh, for net for Ness or frying pans for Paula. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of the time that's a solid strategy. Um, I think I only got burned by that once on a previous playthrough of Earthbound, where yeah. uh, I forget which. Uh, bat it is that you equip, but it's like a bat that only hits like a quarter of the time and the other yeah. three quarters of the time it misses. I think it's like the Casey bat or uh, It is the Casey bat. It's the Casey bat, yeah. Anyway, yeah, it, um, it hits it misses three quarters of the time, but you have an insane offense, so you have a high chance of doing an auto win. Right. So anyway, I had this bat equipped because that was like the highest that uh, I had at that point. And uh, I accidentally left it equipped when I went into Magicant. Uh, which meant that on that playthrough, Magicant took forever to get through. Yep. Which was it not sometimes fun. make all the difference in the world. Right. Ooh, here's something that, that's pretty interesting. Uh, one birthday, I actually made uh, peanut cheese bars for as instead of a cake. <laughs> yeah, basically we found a recipe that basically turned it into like peanut butter flavored cheesecake. So it's pretty huh. much what it is. Like you'd think. It, it would be like peanuts and cheese, like actual cheese, but no, it's it, it makes more sense if it's a cheesecake. Right, yeah. Yeah, because we used like uh, heavy heavy uh, cream or something like that. Mm. Um, yeah, it was it, it was it was a pretty intense recipe, <laughs> but it turned out really good. Although I wish I would have done a better uh, better a better crust. Like all we did was like crush up a bunch of stale like pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had no oh, idea. There's a ladder that goes that... to nowhere. Of course. <laughs> Lots of friends taken behind fall. Why, why Boeing? <laughs> Isn't this one later say Dakota? Oh, possibly. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't remember. One of them says Dakota, which is actually a bit of an Easter egg. Because what Dakota means, it's, a bi it's basically a joke about a landlocked state in America. But in, uh -huh. the, in Mother 2, like the actual Japanese version of it, it actually re refers to a landlocked state in Japan. So it wouldn't make sense here, but it kind of does make sense when you're... Yeah. Well, let's hmm. see here. There's a Sudden Guts pill. Ooh. Sudden Guts is so so useful. Pay a protractor. 
<laughs> what does the protractor even do, anyways? Does it is it actually have a use? Uh, yeah, it's uh for measuring angles. No, I mean a... in the game. Oh, um, I couldn't tell you. Hmm. I usually give all the all the gadgety kind of stuff to uh, Jeff. Yeah, it's possible that he'll he'll uh, turn that into something. If you yeah, have to work on it, spray I'm not sure. I think it's a defense spray, or maybe it's an insecticide. I forgot. The, pro the protractor? No, the, um... The, uh, broken spray can. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an insecticide. Or it's either that, or maybe it's, like, a defense shower or something. Like I said, I forgot. How the heck do I get up here? Uh, is there anything else we need to do here? I think you have to go back to Grapefruit Falls at this point. Oh, right, derp. Grapefruit Falls is still up ahead. That's right. I got so distracted by, uh, by this awesome place that I totally forgot to go in there. <laughs> it is a pretty awesome location. I'm glad that it, uh, plays an important role in the, the big end sequence of the game. Yep. Which we will discuss on a later note. <laughs> because we are still about, what, a, okay, so we're halfway through Threed, which means we're about to go to Belch's Factory. So that would put us at roughly a third of the game way, uh, uh, roughly a third of the game through, or maybe half of the game. Yeah. No, 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 we're about Somewhere a, around we're there. around a third to a quarter of the game th away through. So we still have quite a lot to go, but this is 15 episodes in and we are making good progress. So that means we should be done by roughly um, 60 episodes. Yeah, I That's usually see my uh, Earthbound playthroughs that go up and like, get pretty close to 100 episodes. Yeah. I think it would be a good idea to do PSI Fire here. And Jeff, let's see. I probably should save a bottle rocket for later. So... Right. You never have too many bottle rockets. Exactly. I'll just shoot the middle guy. <laughs> and here's PSI Beetle, which we've named after, of course, the Beetles. Too bad we couldn't put an S there, but that's okay. <laughs> I think the game only supports six six characters uh, just for uh, names and stuff. Any more is almost impossible. Like, I could have put one more L or one more T in your name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And pile well. all of them up. Ooh, offense up A. That's not really useful once you get, uh, once you get the defense spray. And... Mm. Oh, shoot. <laughs> and I have to do this in, in uh, Anton's voice. Picture faking instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. That's a good impression. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I, it's kind of easy to do when it's like I figured out that that uh, Anton did a lot of his characterizations by talking through his teeth a little bit. So it's easy <laughs> just to clench your teeth, and you can sound just like him. Yeah, through the through your teeth and through the nose. Over the teeth, over the gums. Look out, stomach! Here comes a plagiarism. <laughs> Okay, so now we literally wait three real-time minutes for this pa for this uh, thing to let us go. Yes, this was always my uh, favorite part of the game. I could really speed it up, but honestly, I'm trying to play this as legitimately as possible. So, um, let's right, you gotta see. gotta do it legit. Yeah. So I noticed that it is definitely Grapefruit Falls. Like, I don't get why they're just called Grapefruit Falls. Like. I honestly could see it if it was just called Grape Falls. Hmm. I mean, the the river's clearly purple. The falls are kind of blue, like it turns into purple, like... Like at the top of the screen it's blue, but then down here it's purple. Like, I get the grape part. They could have called it right. Grape Kool-Aid Falls. <laughs> <laughs> um... Is it, uh, is it possibly like a, uh, Japanese, like, mistranslation or something? That could be so, or they just decided to call it that for whatever reason. It has a nice ring to it. It does, yeah, Grapefruit Falls. 
It's a bit of a tongue twister, though. Like, try to say that four, five times fast. <laughs> Grapefruit Falls, Grapefruit Falls, Grapefruit Falls. That's not that much of a tongue twister, I guess. But um, on a side note, uh, I did order a few things from Amazon, and one of them is here. I got a microphone cover for my mic, and uh, <laughs> there's really no there's there's hopefully nothing that will uh, that will make this mic too sensitive now, which is good because I don't need it to be overly sensitive. I just needed like something to cover it so that it didn't pick everything up, including my breath. Or when right. a breeze comes through the wind, the room, or something. Now the only mm -hmm. thing left for me to receive, as far as recording equipment goes, is my mic stand, so that every time I I, t I uh, hit the desk or something, like say I bump it with my chair, that my mic doesn't pick it up. So I have an actual stand coming. It's like a little mini a mini stand. It's going to be like five inches or something. So having the little extra extra distance to my face makes a little bit of a difference, and not having it on my desk definitely makes another bit of a difference. Right. Yeah. Pro pro mic tips. Pretty much. Yeah. Pro mic tips with uh, Hylian and Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> so I noticed that um, during Zoom Boing when you did Belch's factory, um, you didn't really do the password thing. You just kind of skipped that. Yeah, um, we uh, we talked about including that. In fact, we were going to have it so that they would disappear behind the waterfall, and then you'd be left looking at a waterfall for three minutes. But um, <laughs> in our in our effort to um, favor pacing over authenticity to the game, we uh, decided to cut that part out. Yeah, and speaking of, oh, here it goes. That was quick. I don't think that really was quite three minutes, but whatever. Oh, really? Yeah, that was fast. Yeah. So here's another thing. At the end of, of Zoom Boing, in the beginning of uh, Magic Cake, I believe, um, you are seen pulling a cigarette and lighter out of your pocket and lighting it while everybody else <laughs> gives you dumb faces. Right. I really wanted to ask you this because... <laughs> that's the stupidest... Is that, in, is that in the cake episode? I don't remember that we did that joke more I than once. I think that's just as you... Oh, wait, no, it's at the very end of Zoom Boing. Right, it's, we just did that once. Yeah, like... Why are you following me, you pile of puke? Yeah, to be honest, the only reason we had that joke in there was in our uh, early days of filmmaking, we uh, worked under the impression that every film had to end with a big explosion. Well, and that so and, we thought. But well, that and just the fact that you pull out a cigarette. <laughs> I, yeah, we couldn't figure out what <laughs> what other way we could have the uh, factory explode other than Ness starting a fire somehow. So we thought, well, wouldn't it be funny if he just sat down, smoked a cigarette, and something caught on fire? Yeah, I'm just curious. I'm did, not you, sure. did you use a real cigarette or was that a fake cigarette? No, um, none of us at the time, none of us were old enough to buy cigarettes. It was a fake. Oh, fake okay. One. But it was still funny. It's just like, wait a minute, I don't smoke. <laughs> like, <I'm, laughs> like you just, like you just sit there and then you like smoke it a little bit and then you're like, wait a minute, I don't smoke. <laughs> just like that whole scene. I rewound that over and over and over again just because it was that funny. <laughs> Like well, no joke, you. it was just. I mean, you, I, I, did you even plan that, or 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 did you just oh, yeah, say, was, okay, let's just do this scene? <laughs> that was scripted. That was planned in there from from the early days. Ooh, here's one of my favorite en enemies in the game, Fobbies. No, oh, Fobbies. Sorry, the Fobbies are orange, but these guys yes. go quickly and they offer a lot of experience, especially when they're in groups like this. And good thing that. Um, there's also a very good strategy here, and now we're doing gaming tips with Hylian and Elliot. <laughs> yeah, a good strategy here is you go into this one room and there's always a butterfly, so you could literally just keep farming floppies all day. Which is what I probably will do, just to waste some time so I could finish the rest of the episode, or the rest of the encounter with Belch uh, next episode, and then we'll finish up the factory, and then uh, we shall see what happens. Or maybe I'll just kick Belch's butt uh, after this. Oh wow, the Foppies did not stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget that there are Foppies and Fobbies as two distinct types of enemies. Yeah. Speaking of which, I think Fobby, if I'm not mistaken, is the name of uh, um, the 
server for uh, uh, Starman.net. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I think so. Don't quote me on that. God, I love the effects of, of PSI rocking. It reminds me of like an Atari game. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I had six floppies on that. That was quite a lot of XP. How much is that? Whew. Wow. Yep, that boosts you quite a bit. I think everybody just leveled up for that. Yep, everyone leveled up. And now they're almost pretty close in level by now. Uh, I forgot where to go now. Oh yeah, that's right, there's a couple layers. And here you see the, slaved, the enslaved Mr. S Mr. Saturns making f jars of fly honey. Which I, which I gotta ask again. Did you film the whole Belch's factory in like one of your guys' basements? No, actually, there is a, a aban an abandoned flour mill in uh, our hometown that's just like this. Oh, nice! Factory building that nobody's using anymore. And uh, at the time we were filming Earthbound, uh, it was actually the property was owned by a friend of ours, and so he was able to let us in and uh, and film in there and kind of take us upstairs and show some cool rooms. That, oh, that's uh, cool! You know, they're really dilapidated and falling yeah. apart. We thought it perfect for Belch's factory. That. And hey, I'm, not, gonna, then, I'm like, not questioning the, the decision there. I mean, heck, if you can get all the help you can for like uh, going going places and filming things, like I'm like I think you filmed a lot of episodes four and five in um in was that uh, state uh, national park that you guys have nearby? Um, there is a uh, it's not a national park per se. It's it's a uh, I would just describe it as a regular park that just happens to be largely undeveloped. Um, there's a lot of forest and trees and stuff in the area. We've actually gone there to film pretty much every episode of Earthbound, just different areas of that park. Yeah. That's cool that you, yeah, guys, have like a, I, that you guys have a lot of that stuff ready pretty much at your disposal. And that you yeah, guys exactly. don't, live, don't live too far away. Right, yeah, like, I, I consider ourselves fortunate that we had, like, so many, like, locations right at our disposal, like, right in our hometown. We didn't have to travel too far away to, to get our all the locations we needed. Yeah, like, when you're doing the foresight scenes, I'm pretty sure you just went to, like, the nearest big town. Yeah, we went to uh, Tulsa to film those scenes. Yeah, that's actually a pretty, a pretty cool, uh... Uh, city there, because I, I didn't realize it looked so much like, like you know, a bustling city. Ooh, the, bro <laughs> yeah. the broken laser. Okay, you can give the broken laser to Jeff. But um, yeah. Another thing is like, ooh, IQ capsule. Uh, shoot, who could who could probably need who needs that? Elliot needs it. He's stupid. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, you need it because you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That came out completely wrong. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, sheesh. What I meant to say that is Elliot has the least amount of IQ, so therefore he should probably use it. <laughs> Where's the um, butterfly that appears in here? I'm not sure. Does it move around when you like go in and out of the room? Well, there's zombies that are always in there. Weird. Oh well. Yeah, it might be a different room. It's been a while since I played this part of the game. Yeah, it, it has been too, so that's what I was wondering. I know that there's a floppy, the floppy thing. Stop it. <laughs> One's being absent-minded. Ouch. I gotta save some, some PP for healing. Dang. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have to have enough time to do to uh, fight belts today. Those poppies slow you down. Yeah. Oh, everybody just fell asleep. <laughs> 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 At least it's not the one where everybody dies. <laughs> oh, sheesh. Well, I'm not doing that for a while. Oh no, Elliot lost all motivation. I'm guessing he's homesick. 
<laughs> okay, we made we need to make a detour to call mom. Oh, never mind. He's there. He's there. That's weird. The chat is asking if we're going to play Mother 3 after you finish Earthbound. Who is? This Louis in the chat. Oh, okay. Um, Mother 3 after this? Yeah. Uh, no idea yet. Stay tuned. Herp, it's hard to make the sounds that Master Bells does. I know I can't do it. You mean like, <laughs> Oh, I know what I'm doing, okay. There's another section of this game, or of this, uh, factory that you can go and fight, and you get, uh, the, um, butterflies. No problem here. What? How did these bar piles of barf... Lure. No. Here, I'll pray because I can't do anything. But something. Ah, crap. Yep. Elliot is uh, homesick. <laughs> I like the bit when you're like, where you like steak, and then you're like, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to finish episodes, uh, the half, the rest of episode five, and finish up the story. Because I'm pretty sure you have two uh, sanctuaries left, and then you have to go back in time and then beat Gygus. Right. There's uh, still quite a bit left oh, to do. Oh, here's a magic butterfly room. I found it. Yay! Now, if only I had bought that postcard that I was thinking I should have bought. <laughs> in retrospect, <laughs> that might have been a better idea, a good idea to do. I love how there's always a magic butterfly in here. So was that uh, an intentional decision on the designer's part, or is that a, a game bug that the magic butterfly never goes away? Well, let's just say it was the first thing that you just said. <laughs> oh. For all intents and purposes. I mean, because we're, we're literally right... Right there, right next to, um, I believe, Master Belch's room. Wait, no, he's not Belch yet, he's Barf. Or is it, or is it Barf? It's, it's Belch. Okay, first it's Belch and then it's Barf. That's right. Okay, what's up here? Haha, -ha, yes I was, you jerk. Stop barfing. I mean, burping. I like how they can't hit anything because they're crying. <laughs> ah! Okay, yeah, this is definitely a good time to try and get out of here and uh, and attempt to return later. But can you come back after you've done the um, uh, the password once? Ooh, hypnosis. Uh, I I believe so, yes. Or maybe that there's something in here that will help me, hopefully. I hope so. Like, what if there's a postcard in here? Oh, wait, that's right. There's, in, there's a... Where is it? There's an insecticide spray, probably. No, I don't have one! Arg! Dang it. Die. Dang it. Ness is Ness is pretty much uh useless at the moment. Dang it. Stop missing. There we go. 
Yay! Okay, so right now we've gone just a little over 30 minutes, so if there's nothing in this room that will help me, I will just simply uh, cut it here and then attempt to return to there before. Ooh, HP sucker! Oh, so useful! I like the hungry HP sucker because it's a whole lot better. Please be a close card. Ah, vital capsule. Well, um, let's see, I'm going to go back down, down the ladder really quick. And now there's flies. Dang it. I can't even cut it where I want to. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if I got something. Nope, no insecticide. Wait, I wonder if PSI Flash will work here. We shall see. Well, that was quick. Okay, we'll basically stop right here at the... Uh, see, I'm, I'm trying to find a place to stop and I can't. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. Sub Seems sub to be a general. Bacon. I wonder if I could just fight the final boss like this. Or not the final boss, but um, Master Belch. Because, I mean, sometimes he still attacks. Like, he's not completely homesick, he's just craving bacon. Okay. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna heal everybody. Oh, and then I didn't even get the butterfly. What's wrong with me? I know Ness has more more PP than that, so I'll do one more. Uh, okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. So here is where we will cut it in Master Belch's factory. So thanks for having, thanks for coming onto the show again, Elliot. Sure. Yeah, and maybe I can get uh, Phil back. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe during the part when uh, Paula gets kidnapped in the department store, because I'm sure that'll be a whole episode. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, well, this has been episode 15, and for once I didn't go over 45 minutes. <laughs> that seems to be the trend every now and then I do that. So I've had two part two two part episodes, which was ten and a fourteen. So um, yeah, thanks for joining me, everybody, and for those who are watching live, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you uh, two days from now on July third when I will have um, another guest possibly, and uh, tomorrow I will be doing another Ness anniversary, and I will be playing. I have never played this before, and I was refraining from doing something I've already played and was well, well aware of. But I will probably be playing Street Fighter 2010 because it's five. Ooh. It's it's uh, well that game was supposed to be two, uh, last last episode, but then uh, Asterna Aster Ac Ac Aster uh, Nax or whatever got in the way, and I've also I haven't felt like doing Nessiversary for a while. So now that I'm caught up on PSI Let's Play, I will come back at you guys with the next episode of of Nessiversary. And once again, thank you for sh uh, coming on the show, Elliot. Sure. Yep. And uh, we shall call it good right here, and we will see you next time. See ya.